Ah, yes. Technology. Your best friend when it works and your worst enemy when it doesn't. You know, having technology is an amazing thing. This little thing right here makes life so dang easy. I mean, it also makes life very frustrating because constant updates, constant, like, notifications about BS that you don't care about anymore. Yeah, just... Freaking uh, Timu. Oh, gosh, yeah. I recently got something off of Timu, oh. and then Kate was just like, hey, can I order something? Kate's just like, I have a problem. I need to stop. And I still haven't deleted it. It's okay. Hey, as long as you don't I'm buy waiting until else. the what I what I bought comes in and then I'm gonna delete it. Yeah. Speaking of, one of the things that I bought, the thing that I was buying is like sort of like a replacement thing. It will be here tomorrow, so I'm very Yay. happy. And I then, hope it fits the larger dice that you got. Yeah. Also, uh the other one, uh for the other person, uh it will be here. Either the day before or the day of. That's kind of close. That's what I said when I looked at. It, I was just like, "Please get here early." I hope it's Please not going to be the same issue though. If it is, then hey, that's just how it is. But if it doesn't it is, look then... like it. It'll be. It doesn't look like it'll have the same problem. At least I hope. Mine's but it's probably the only one that can fit the large dice then. Probably, but well, yours does. That's what I said. Oh, Mine's yeah. Mine's probably the only one. I thought you were talking about the one coming in. Sorry. No. Uh, but, yeah, technology, we have uh, we have issues with it every now and again. And then there's old technology. Like, I look, every time I go to the hospital and I see them still using, like, Windows XP on their friggin', like, screen, like, little mobile cart screen things, I'm just like, I'm gonna die. We had Windows 98 when I worked retail, like, up until... I quit retail when the store closed finally in 2017, was it? Yeah, and or? I don't get why they just don't update to, like, modern Android or, or something that's more encrypted and, like, has received well, regular I've updates. I've finally been seeing lots of businesses update to, like, more modern-looking tech. Yeah. It, and it's just, like, it blows my mind that, like, some other businesses are just like, no, our employees will continue to use Windows 98 for forever, like, until until it just doesn't work anymore somehow. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, because it's, it's like, really going to hurt not, your bottom we'll line. We'll not spend a penny on, like, updating anything. Yeah, it's really going to blow up your bottom, your, your, your bottom line, you know, that little black number at the end of your, like, accounting book. If you spend, like, an X amount on just a, a few minute upgrades to make not only your employees' lives easier, but your customers' lives easier, too. I bet you anything if the people who made those decisions were there on certain days when that tech was fucking up beyond all reason. Oh, it's And watched customers with lots of product in their hands sit it down and walk out because they weren't going to wait on the technology to fucking work. Oh, they would probably change their tune a little oh, bit. Oh, immediately. immediately. Like, but I they don't realize like how <laughs> inconvenient that shit is. Instead, they blame the employees. Yep. Oh, exactly. Our, our fault. So it's like, it's like well, you should have uh, done a manual receipt for them uh, so that it's like, what, what would that have solved? That wouldn't have solved anything. Because that was, they got onto me about that whenever the power went out at our, uh, at our, like, when I was in the movie gallery. And they said, hey, you should have wrote a manual receipt for all the customers who came into the store. And I'm like, I couldn't. Why not? All the manual receipts were in the office. Well, why didn't you go into the office? Because the office has an electric lock. I couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, well, well, you should have thought about that before. It's like, when, how was I supposed to know the power was going out? How? How? If you could explain Not that to, to me. Not to mention they're idiots. We literally had to immediately ask everyone to leave and close the store anytime the power went out because it's fucking dark in there. It is. Guess what people like to do when they can't be seen in a retail location? Yoink, yoink, they yoink. Yep. their pockets. Yes. Oh, gosh. I'm not saying everybody, but I'm saying, like, you can't catch anybody if they if they are there trying to do that shit so, yeah like it's you kind of have to close down to prevent like a shoplifter from coming in and clearing you out yeah what Thankfully, are you gonna do I never 
Go ahead. experience that. Yeah, what are you going to do? Use the camera? Oh, wait, no power. Uh, okay, yeah, everybody out. It's the best option. But there's, there's parts of technology that I really wish would be updated. And apparently, that's the thing here, because uh, this is, uh, I believe, hardware gore on uh, MK. It's been a while since we watched an MK video, but we might as well just jump on into it and uh, see. I hate to do this, because some of y'all are trying to hurry, but I think I need just a minute before we click play. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, a little bit of an emergency that had to be handled. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it's just one of those things. But anyway, technology. Ain't it fun? Say hello to Big Bertha, a 1.69 terabyte text file, over 108 billion lines. Can't wait to unzip this file. <gasps> I'm glad you went through the dedication to actually oh. generate the text file itself. An extremely old version of Adobe Photoshop used to have a bug where if you had more than a terabyte of storage space, it would think you didn't have enough space to run the program. User spilt coffee on his laptop, so he put it in the oven to dry it out uh, while the oven was on. <laughs> This, this can't be serious. Like, I mean, obviously can be serious because it happened. Uh. But you put a ThinkPad, hallowed be thy name, into an oven and then turn the oven on. Like, even a hairdryer would damage things a little bit, but yeah. at least, like, that one I would kind of understand. Oven. Oven. Sometimes I think some people just walk around not knowing the melting temperatures of things. Or, or mm. I'm just weird. It's probably that. Like an artist's rendition of anxiety. Okay, okay. You know, I often oh. say, like, no. oh, this one's not that bad. No. Oh, it's a oh, hospital. No. Yeah. Oh. Even the cords down here give me anxiety, and there's nearly not. I don't even. This is like. That is that is one nightmare One hundredth fuel. of that. But I'd, I'd say one one thousandth. I'm Jesus waiting to Christ. see the robot spider that built this web walk out from he, the side. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like beep boop, get out flesh mon get out flesh monger beep boop. This is bad. This is very bad. I will point out exactly what makes it so bad. There's no uniformity. You can't tell generally where things no. are supposed to go to. Merry Christmas! No! 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 Oh. No! What have you brought into my house? So who has one in their server room? Hard reset. <laughs> I, I have two hammers. <laughs> One's bright pink, and the other one was the, the really old one, and it's called Mr. Reboot now because I used it in a video as a prop, and I named it Mr. Reboot. I need a name for the other one, too. I work in IT. Finding this in the server room made my day. Yeah, ours was just, like, on the table, and if a particularly difficult problem came up, the assistant director would just be like, oh, you're going to need a hammer for this one, Percussive and just famous. hold it up. Sometimes it was a client problem. Please advise. Note type. Ticket description. Note. Good morning. This PC is no longer functioning after yesterday's power outage. Please advise. Thank you. What? 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 What kind of a? What kind of a power outage did you have? Okay, I know the inside of this these machines very very well. They use a uh, like a slim power supply that's stupid hard to get. It's a pain in the ass. But but it sits yeah. on the bottom of the entire case and like slides out with a little tab. And then all the power cables go up and straight. So I know for a fact that the power supply didn't explode or something because all the damage would be around the bottom where the rails are it, this this doesn't even make did you try to take the front off the front doesn't come off there's a giant handle right there you pull the handle the thing comes off these are the easiest <laughs> machines to work on yes. i smelled something burning base us i'd seen oh. that brand before and i'd seen it really heavily marketed and now i know not to buy it <laughs> camera wanted a second look oh my god look at her dress oh my god look at what <laughs> that's such a terrible dress oh it's so tacky this keyboard's <laughs> usb connected at my school. Oh no, it's a school one. Oh, it's oh. education abuse. Oh, I'm, I, does it still work? As much as I hate that seeing hurts. like tech gore, I'm also always curious of like how far out of spec can you get something and it still work. Not that it should be deployed, but just to know the, like the range of tolerance, because people don't respect technology at all. DIY no. phone cooling upgrade. Is that just a copper pipe? Did you just oh copper my. pipe your? I, <laughs> Samsung something or other. All, this, every, all the Android phones just look the same now. The folding ones are kind of cool, but like everything else just... Come on, guys. Like Android used to be the cool ones with all the weird, weird the, the out there stuff. Our new mascot. Students sent this in, stating they accidentally dropped their backpack from their second floor porch. Somehow, I don't believe that. Now it's our new mascot named Crash. Okay, assuming... Oh. Assuming that's not a spicy pillow. If the laptop was closed and it was inside a backpack and the backpack fell off of something. I'm going to say that the screen and the keyboard are going to be bent at the same angle. Introducing power over duct tape. No. Oh dear God, oh. that's 120 volts. No, that's not. No, it's no. Oh my God, it is. 
No. Oh, God help us all. Please tell me this isn't real. Your worst fear. Eh, eh, actually, oh. that one's pretty good. Like, you gotta be careful with the, your next set of decisions in life. Hey, at least you'll be able to get that HDMI, like, the plug-in out. At least it's not stuck in there. Because there was one, dude. It was a, uh, a an audio jack in my old stereo in my car. I pulled out the little thing on the bottom, and the tip like snapped off and was stuck inside of it and i was just like huh? well no 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 and i got it out and i was like i was like trying to like reach up in there with like a pair of tweezers to like get it out couldn't get it out took it to a uh, computer store and the guy was just like you did what now <laughs> i was like i i had my audio jack plugged in the auxiliary port in the bottom of it and i pulled it out and when i did the tip of the thing snapped off and got stuck in there you can hear it rattling around and he's like all right let me see what i can do he i get a call back from him like an hour later he's just like dude i like don't ever bring this back here i got it out but i am never working on this again period i'm like i'm never working on this again i'm like i appreciate it dude thank you how much do i owe? he's like D you don't owe me anything just get it out <laughs> I was like, for free, thanks. I don't want to think about it ever again. <laughs> exactly. He didn't want to be reminded. I, like, I just unmind. hear him in the back room just beep, 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 beep. This mother beep, beep. I'm going to beep. Like, <laughs> and then finally just you hear, yes. He's oh, like, my thank God. you, God. Jesus. And he calls me up. He's just like, get the fuck down here right now. And he's tempted <laughs> to throw one at this. this uh, what is it? Sound system? Yeah, the little sound like, yeah. thing. He's just... tempted to throw it across the room <laughs> afterwards. I <wouldn't> doubt it. <laughs> That's why I asked you to leave and get it. He's like, yeah, he's like, get it before I throw it. Get it before <laughs> I time, smash it. Every time I came in there afterwards with my laptop, he's like, he's like, you ain't bringing another one, are you? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> like he knew me from then on. Like really cool dude. His name was Chris. Uh, he he fixed my laptop multiple times. But the HDMI head left the crimped end of the connector, and your port might still be okay. Yes. So you can still save this. Assuming it was actually plugged into the HDMI port. It looks like it is. That looks like four letters. HP equals hinge problems. I just saw a meme that was like oh. an r slash sububby. It's an r slash IT, which is just a bunch of I's and T's. That just has the HP logo and just has hinge problems in the HP font. Because it's true. I mean, so they had mirrors, lots of other problems, but now we have like one clearly identifiable one that actually angers everyone, not just IT people. Now no, there's multiple things here that are wrong. Like, the metal on that heatsink looking piece right to the far left. So yeah. It looks like it's bent slash maybe slightly corroded by something. Well, it's copper, so it's meant to look that color. Not not that part. The part that's like to the left of that. Like oh, here? Right there. You see that? Yeah, like right there. Oh, see, yeah. See all of that? That's bent. That looks kind of fucked. Yeah, that's bent. And then, like, uh, right underneath that, there's, like, something that looks like it's covered in something. Oh, it's probably, it's it, probably corroded it might, or It something. could be dust, but it almost looks corroded. Yeah. But all, there's always this problem right here. That's the video cable coming off your motherboard. Mm -hmm. And that goes up to your screen right here. That goes up into the screen and makes it to where your screen can turn on. If that gets cut by the hinge in any way, no more screen. Mm-hmm. Such bullshit. Now stop buying $299 laptops from Walmart and then complaining when they don't perform to the same level as a MacBook. Somebody wasn't happy yeah. with their internet. Did, did did they put a couple rounds through it? Or there's Whoa. drill holes? I think those are drill holes. Lordy. Ticket. User states internet keeps going out. Okay, sometimes this stuff is better or worse <laughs> than it can appear. And It's this, like the cable equivalent so of the fungus from The Last of Us growing Oh my god, walls. you're right. I just expect this thing to like like lurch off the wall and start screaming at me like ah! Yeah. This is technology <laughs> horror. Yes. Which means it's an automatic fail. Anyone know why my iPad isn't working? Uh, yes, I do. I'm not going to tell you, though, because oh, I, I feel like it's much better for the learning experience if you figure it out yourself. And welcome back to today's episode of Janky or Nah. I'm sorry, is, is, is Janky the good option? Oh. I guess I can... I, there's like a... There's definitely a redneck How? engineering spirit to, su to getting something you? working on a computer that shouldn't work, but does. Nah, Customer seats, computer no that. longer boots. After a few drops of Pepsi got on, to a few drops 
A oh, Pepsi got onto the a few that's drops. Deep right there, How man. big were those drops? That that motherboard is dead. Say la vie. Fare thee well. It, this actually doesn't look that that bad, but it yeah, it's more than a few it drops. Was, no, Liquid's weird. It really bad. matters on where it hits. I spilled a good two thirds of a bowl of cereal all across uh, a 17 inch laptop, and it was fine. Totally fine. I splashed a uh, Cooler Master keyboard with like some of the water from a vase, like a very tiny vase that had a single water rose in it, matter. and the entire thing no. shredded out immediately. You never know. There's really? room in the kitchen. That, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that must just be a shittily anything. made keyboard. Water never did anything for mine. Uh, it was when I spilled Coke on my uh, on my uh, Corsair, which I what? I did the trick where I washed it in the dishwasher. I was about to ask, did you guys both put keyboards in the dishwasher? Yes, yes, and both keyboards work perfectly. In yes, there. I can't. I couldn't believe it when I tried it. Yeah, because it was a Linus video. I thought video. That they were crazy. Yeah, it was a I Linus saw. video. He was like, "This is never gonna work," and then they're like, "This actually works," and I'm yeah. like. Dude, I was about to just buy a new keyboard because this keyboard is so freaking, like, you know, fucked because I spilled some Coke in it. It's like, why don't we just try it? And we fucking ran it through the dishwasher and took it out and let it dry for a few days. I did sure the same enough, on it mine. works perfectly now. I no, did the same on no mine over there. No stickiness, every key still registers. Like, My damn. first official, like, true gaming keyboard that I've had for, like, 10 years. And I spilled Coke on it, I think, like, four or five years ago. And I was just like, I was so like heartbroken. And then all of a sudden, I saw that video from Linus. I'm like, that's not going to work. Nick, <laughs> your keyboard's screwed up, right? He's like, yeah, you got to remind me. No, come here, watch this. And I showed him the video. He's like, think it'll work. What do we got to lose? Like, they're already not working. Why? What, what could, what, what's yeah, the harm? Exactly. You know? So we removed all the caps. We put them in there. We put the caps in little bag things to, like, little wash bags so they didn't go all over the place. And we put everything back together, and they work flawlessly. His still works. And mine I put down here on the, the on the, the like, studio computer. And they both got crazy looks from Kate, because I really told that they were stupid. Oh, oh, no. I, I... If they wouldn't have worked, you're, those that crazy look would have been completely justified. I was just like, there was, okay. There was a chance that they wouldn't work again. And guess what? It, it, they worked. I'm it glad it worked. It. Well, once in a while, crazy plans pay off. Yeah. yeah. Occasionally. Um, but yeah, the di main difference there is like if the keyboard is hooked up or not. Because when it's hooked up and getting power into it, water yeah. could potentially breach... It could potentially, like, make a link between two things that are not supposed to be linked. And then short out completely. Yeah. And then you're screwed. But, uh, Gen yeah, just if you have it unplugged, then, you know, the electricity is not going to be there to cause arcs. And also, that's the other thing, too. We waited for them to dry. Yeah, we waited We waited a, a long time for them to dry. It was, like, two mm, days. Made sure they completely dried out. Exactly. Just have the IT person set up there. Uh, uh, oh, I have set. Oh my God, the list of places, mm. uh, weird places I have had to set up, especially when consulting. Like I've set up in the corner of a restaurant. I've set up behind a bar. <laughs> I've had a bunch of just sit down on the floor Never and just spread that. out. Like you just fire up a couple <laughs> computers and start configuring stuff. Customer tried to clean his laptop, broke the main board while clean closing. Oh no. Oh. Is under it. Okay, first off, oh. hinge. Hinge what the hinge. But but what's under that? Like that looks like that's supposed to sit flush. I have no idea. I'm I'm not gonna question it further because my brain is just gonna drive me nuts until I know. What a mess. Uh okay, this is another one that's like on the fence. On one hand, especially that bundle on the left, that looks messy. And Ooh, it is kind yeah. of a little messy. But those yeah. are individual fiber strands. Fiber strands have an extremely delicate, what's called a bend radius. They are literally glass. It's literally glass yeah. fiber. So if you bend it too much, you will start to crack it and you can risk either degrading the signal or just making it entirely non-functional. And then that just, that ruins that strand of the fiber permanently. Client came in with this monstrosity. Lord have mercy, what happened to your parallel port? Oh. Why, why did you get in a fight with your parallel port? What the hell? <laughs> Are you trying to pull this away from like the wall or something? And it was still connected to something? Good Lord. It's called networking. Look it up. Oh my god. You have a oh. USB C to USB A to USB NIC to Ethernet to USB NIC to whatever that is. Is that the stupid Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt thing or is that USB C? <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. Uh this 
Does this work? If both sides are powered, it should work. No way. Yeah, in I, hell. It, it'll all work on a on a layer two. Yeah, no, you got two MAC addresses. You got two, yeah, yeah, it it should work. My dad said his PS4 was overheating. Uh, yeah, it, it'll do that. That's actually not. Yeah, that's uh... that is completely blocked up with dust. Look at that. It's a wall of dust. Jesus wept, man. They must not clean their house. Oh. Like, well, even if you clean your house over time, like if you don't clean the console. Yeah, because this eventually. thing's constantly taking in dust, and also it's ele electronic, and electronics uh, like are magnetic, and they magnetize dust to them. So basically, it's just a gigantic dust magnet. That reminds me, I very oh. much need to clean my PlayStation 3 before the next time I start it up. Yes. Because it's I can help been you way that. too long, and it's probably pretty dusty inside. I can help you with that. Um the worst I've ever seen. Like, that's really not that bad. It will always just astound me that there aren't filters, like slide out magnetic filters on the yeah. front of things that desperately need fans. A little broken. Just, just a little. Only like 19%. Oh. Hey, this is way better than that other phone that I was like, how do you people use that? And people were actually answering. It's like, oh my God, people do actually use their phones like this where half the half the screen was gone. I'm impressed. I, I, I still could not live for like three hours. I'd rather yeah. just not use the phone at all. Same. I think the Ram got a little hot. I can just just a little broken. Oh, that's, just, just a oh, little that hot. Is the rest burnt. of it's fine. Hotel yeah, that is burnt. Like, look, like, hold on. A little hot. Yeah, that whole thing. That oh god, dude. That Whispy. whole ram, whole ram combo right there. Contacted the metal and just went off. Oh. That's awful. I can just, just a little broken. Just just a little hot. Yeah, the rest of it's fine. Hotel television install. Ooh. I've always... Oh, no. That's not at all what I expected. Oh, no. I've always been curious about hotel no. television systems because they're like these secret little integrated networks and stuff. Uh, this is just a television held up by some picture wire, which actually, if you think about it, like there are paintings that are a good 25 to 30 pounds. A lot of TVs nowadays are less than that. You <laughs> Theoretically, the as long as you have the correct yeah, anchors yeah. and everything, our 40 OLED picture frame, weigh, you yeah, could... Our OLED weighs way more than 30 pounds. To be honest, as long as whatever parts of the TV it's attached to are not at risk of coming loose, I'd say that's pretty secure. Yeah, fairly. I'd say hell no. It's just jank. Like, oh, know. I'd rather spend seventy dollars on a freaking thing that attaches on a mount, it to the wall. On a proper mount. No, that's the thing. Whenever I was getting this TV, I went out and I looked for like a mount specifically for OLED TVs because if I was gonna pay good money for this thing. I want it to be secure. I want it to be safe. And I'm so happy because this is the best TV I've ever owned. I mean, by far. I used to take my consoles to my friend's house and I had a TV that had no stand. And I just leaned, leaned It's that gold one, ain't it? Or that one out there? Yeah. I, I would just... <laughs> Did you lean it up against the wall? Yeah, I would just lean it against stuff. <laughs> Not, not just the wall. I would lean it against chairs. I would lean it against my buddy's like big screen TV that oh didn't have the right adapter for the console. I can't be mad at that because honestly, I did the same thing, but it was with like a little like like mount TV. You know, it was like a, a CRT that was like this big that had like a, a handle on top of it that my grandma had. I took that thing everywhere with me because some of my friends actually didn't have TVs. And I would like get it down there, we'd set it up on a chair, and we'd play like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It had little speakers that were shitty, but hell, I was able to play. Yeah, if I, I worked minimum rage, minimum wage, minimum rage. Minimum rage. Yeah. Minimum rage. Never mind, that was accurate. I worked minimum rage retail, and if I fucking spent money to buy a stand for that TV, that would be a video game I couldn't buy to play. So. Minimum rage. <laughs> I was going to say that's like it's like Sorry. sort of kind that's of so pseudo. Relatable. That's like kind of sort of pseudo like Asian as well. The minimum rage. <laughs> that's kind of a little racist. Yeah. That's oh. not what I, I was thinking of working retail in the rage. No, no, I get that too. <laughs> but honestly, especially since that's not even accurate because they have designated R and W sounds. I know. I'm being. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry if this one caused you any emotional damage. Or at uh, least the Japanese have, you know, designated R and W sounds. I don't know about all of the all the other Asian languages because I haven't studied them at all. Uh, I know Chinese does because Wei Chen, uh, Wei Lei. Uh, there's a bunch of names that have W. I can't in think it. of any R sounds. Though. Do they make TV mounts? 
Yes. Okay. The Chinese and the Japanese, both. Okay. And if I guarantee you, like, if someone saw this, they'd be like, oh, you fucked up. China makes everything. Oh, yeah. They saw this amount, they'd be like, oh, you fucked up. You fired. No, you, you, you'll take your ass down the street. You fired. Stephen, ha- hanger, Stephen Hogan, actually. what the it is, hell? It is a hanger. It's a coat hanger. It's not a picture hanger. Yeah, it's look at that. Coat hanger. It's literally a coat hanger. Oh, my God. So if you couldn't afford a decent way to mount your TV, why'd you buy a TV? Exactly. You uh, guys are good. What? That's Jim Uncle Roger Cowell. in a nutshell. If Uncle Roger yeah. was instead a technology expert, instead of a instead of a chef, he'd look at this and he would just be like, "You fire! You fucked up! What are you doing? You stupid! Hiya! I never hire you in a million year." Uh. Anyway, hang a TV using like more than Sorry, this, children. but like go like run through <laughs> all of the va- Vesa screws on the back, and then I just did the Uncle Roger. Sorry, children. Oh, <laughs> I didn't hear you. And hang it from like two points? And it's oh physically, boy. that would work. An accurate depiction of my life. <gasps> I had that laptop. I, wait, no, I didn't. Wait, what? Wait. Okay, this is a Toshiba. <laughs> I had a Toshiba. It was it was not a good one. It was like uh, picked out of the trash or something. I, I think actually I my dad one. might have got it. Like it was trashed from not work or those, from like a school. But... They had these like school auction sale things where you could buy stuff for like five bucks. School surplus sale. There we go. Um, It had the same clickers and it had the same mouse. But the speaker was on the front. I swear it was saddle. It was 90 megahertz Pentium. And that wow. looks like the same processor. With the battery life of an injured wasp. Sorry, the screen is all screwed up. <laughs> That's really cool. The keyboard that felt is, really that nice. Is a it was a piece of junk. But it was my piece yeah. of junk. All Literally my computers were pieces of junk. HD. It reminds me of the Yip Yips. Oh, the, from Sesame Street. Oh, I remember yip, those. Yip, 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 yip. <laughs> Random columns closet found on Facebook. <laughs> yip, 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 yip. Yeah, these are, these are phone systems. That. That's these exactly are, what it looks like. It does. Oh, yeah. Just like, is that a mop? Head? It is. It's two of them. Two of them hung on these little things. And then there's a bag right there. I, I swear. I, okay, yip yip to the. It like, can you imagine them as like your tech support guys? Just be like, so you're saying I need a new fiber optic cable? Yip 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 yip. yip. <laughs> it's like, can you can you install it for me? Yip 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 yip. <laughs> How is it going to cost me a lot? Ooh, yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Sixty-six or one ten punch blocks? I think there's just sixty-six punch blocks. So the uh, the kind of standard for them is is a lot lower, and this isn't to insult telephone installers. They just they have a lot more to punch down. Yeah. Every single phone has to be punched back to every single block for each and every single jack. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that was a. That was some uncomfortable technology, all right. Jeez Louise. I don't know what to say about that except for... Why? Why? Ugh. Anything that y'all need to say or anything y'all need to add to this? Because I'm, I'm literally just at a... Just at the end of my rope with the technology. Oh, you mean at the end of your cable? <sighs> Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.